When it comes to your website, it is very important to have access to information regarding who is going to your website, how they are finding it, and other things such as how long they are staying for. I'm going to show you how to add two different types of web analytics codes to your website. The first code we will be adding is for Google Analytics. If you are unsure of what Google Analytics is and want to learn more, you can read up more about it on the Analytics website. In the meantime, here's a demonstration on how to add the code to your website. Open up your web browser to google.com slash analytics. If you do not have a Google account, you will need to click on the Sign Up Now button. Otherwise, click on the Access Analytics button and log in using your Google ID and password. Assuming this is your first time signing up for Google Analytics, you will need to click the Sign Up button located in the bottom left corner of the Analytics page. On the next page, you will need to enter your website's URL. You will also need to name the account. This name can be whatever you want it to be, or you can simply leave it as your URL. Then select your country and time zone, and hit the Continue button. Fill out the remaining information required when signing up. The final stage will ask you what you are tracking which most of you can leave as a single domain. Finally, you will be told to paste a certain code on your site. Highlight that code and copy it by holding Command and C or by going to Edit and selecting Copy. Head back to RapidWeaver. Press the Setup button, followed by the Advanced tab. In the Google Analytics box, paste the code that we just copied. Google Analytics will now be applied to all pages on your website. Now I'm going to show you a very similar process, but this time we will be adding a StatCounter.com code. The first thing we will do is open up our browser to www.statcounter.com. If you do not have an account with StatCounter, click on the Register button on the top left part of the navigation menu. Fill out all the required information and register your account. After you have registered, log in with your username and password. Once you are logged in, you will need to create a new project in order to get your code. Click on the Add New Project button. In the following form, you will need to enter a title for your website, your website URL, a category for your website, and your time zone. You also have the option of having the stat counter not count your visits to the site by blocking your IP. If you don't care for this feature, just leave it blank. After you click the Next button, you will then need to click on the Configure and Install Code button. You have a few options for which type of stat counter you want. It is recommended that you use the invisible stat counter, that way you are the only one who knows how many hits your site gets. Then click on the Next button. Make sure that Default Installation Guide is selected, and then press the Next button. Now we are given our stat counter code. Again we must highlight this code and copy it. Back in RapidWeaver, the same method applies. Press the Setup button followed by the Advanced tab. In the Google Analytics box, paste the code. You should now have both the Google Analytics and StatCounter codes in this box. After you have saved and uploaded, you will then be able to track all of the traffic flowing to your site and will be able to see information such as how a person found your site and how long they stayed on it for. Analytical statistics can help educate you about your user's behavior. Google Analytics and StatCounter are two great tools to use. 